So we're about halfway through this lesson series and I do want to show you some professional tips and keep in improving your technique and get you up to a level that you feel comfortable playing well with others and um, you know jamming on your own too. But something that people overlook a lot of the times is beyond the connection that we formed our foundation from our, our own pulse, there's another rhythm of life that is overlooked and that's the breath work. And so if you've ever seen the grandmaster violinist at a, in a symphony orchestra, get ready to start, they'll stand up and they'll, they, they won't count off like the rock drummer, one, two, three, four, what do they do? There's a little breath just that little quick inhalation. Now, we think about that as a pickup note, uh, getting us into the rhythm. And the whole orchestra comes in, the conductor breathes with it, even though the conductor or the drummer may not have to time their breath to the music. Uh, once we learn to connect our breath, or first connect to our breath, and then connect our breath to the music, it gives us a whole nother perspective of some of the uh, wellness benefits of drumming. Uh, we talked about it releasing anxiety and relieving stress. I first found out that my breathing was incorrect by listening back to studio recordings. When I was playing quietly, you would hear my breath come in and uh, just a completely, it was based on what I was playing. So if I was playing something fast, I was breathing in really fast. If, if I was playing something slow, sometimes it just didn't align. And so that made me aware that my, my breathing did not follow the beat of the drum. Now, through breathwork classes and learning how to improve my drumming, I learned how to time my breath to the drum. So the first thing I want you to do is think about just taking an even breath in and out in the same amount of beats. I like to start, we'll start with just four counts. So let all of your air out, breathe in and out. In and out. Now if you'd like to take this up a level, uh, you can move up to something called square breathing, box breathing. And so it creates a box type cycle. You'll breathe in for four beats, hold for four beats, breathe out slowly for four beats, and then wait for four beats. And so let's try one of those together. We'll breathe in, hold, out, and wait. Once more, breathe in, hold, out, and wait. Now you may be wondering, Jeff, what's this got to do with drumming? You know, I, I realize that I'm breathing, but I was saying about how we can connect the breath. So I'm trying to save you quite a few years of practicing and misaligning your breath and then realizing one day, oh man, I've got to start all over. If you can build uh, your rhythms at the same time that you're connecting your breath, it's just going to make you a better player. You're going to feel the time in your body. You're going to flow with the rhythms of life. Life. And that's what you want to be able to express through the drum. Um, let's take it to another level. And when we talk about phrasing, I'm going to use another version of the rhythm of life, the heartbeat. Um, now, I said I would offer the mild, medium, and spicy parts, but I'll try to give all three in this example. So I'm going to create a four-beat phrase based on the heartbeat. And at first, I'm going to leave three spaces, three rest in the music. So you can set that up with me like this. We'll play heartbeat, rest, rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest. Now if you like it mild, maybe add one beat in between. Anywhere you like. You could do it in a different place each time. Or maybe a couple beats. Three. Maybe a little more. Now spice it up. Try your different sounds. Now you're jamming. Can you still feel the heartbeat? Now, be honest. 
this? Are you focusing on your breath? Good job. If you were able to keep that rhythm going, were you timing your breath to four beats? Were you stretching it to eight beats? Uh, when I do this as a mindfulness or meditation practice, a lot of the times I'll start with a typical four beat phrase. And then with each cycle, I try to add a, another beat. And this puts me, of course, playing in five beats and then six beats and then seven beats and eight beats. Um, I'll have a whole nother video series on breath work and connection, but I felt like that was just so important and so overlooked. People grab a drum and just start to jam and don't focus on how we're really connecting. So now you know how to connect your pulse, your breath work, uh, your hands and your whole body. We can actually call this whole body drumming now. So keep your rhythms going. I mean your rhythms of life and the drums. I'm Jeff Holland. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll see you again soon.